Hey guys, it's Susie from A Loud Coffee Shop with a preschooler. In today's video, you're going to learn how you can make auto-graded assignments with a tool that can be free, free or paid and a hack for embedding that into Canvas. So stay tuned. So why would you want to use Teacher Made? This request actually comes from Gina, who's a second grade teacher. So I do read my email. I just don't always have time to, to do the things you guys ask me to do. But keep on sending requests if there's a certain video or a certain product you want to see. Um, see how it integrates with Canvas specifically or Office. That's my other love. Then let me know. But I've had a couple teachers bring up Teacher Made since Gina brought it up. And what it is, is it allows you to upload a PDF or an image and add functional boxes on top of it that will auto grade. So it's similar to the student annotation in that there's a background and then the kids do stuff on top of it, but Canvas student annotations, which I just made a tutorial for a couple weeks ago, are not auto graded. So Teacher Made is either a free or paid tool where you can integrate that auto grading feature. I'm also gonna teach you a hack today for how you can embed it in Canvas without the upgrade It'll still be graded elsewhere. You'll have to go there to grade it, but the kids will think Canvas is my one-stop shop, and that's always my motivation. How many things can we get into Canvas, or at least appear to be in Canvas, so the kids think everything I need is here? So stay tuned on how to use it and how to add it into Canvas. Now, I'm a very novice user to this tool. I've just found out about it, but Richard Byrne, who's been a go-to for years, I got retweeted by him one time. It was very exciting. <laughs> but anyway, Richard Byrne has a really good... Um, tutorial on, the, on everything this can do. Mine's going to be focused on just a taste of it and then how it specifically integrates into Canvas. So I am going to log in or create an account, whatever you need to do. And then what you're going to do first is go up to Create Worksheet. I was a little confused when I had not been into this a while and I came back to it. I was like, okay, assignment versus worksheet. So worksheet is the actual thing that your kids are going to do. Assignment is all the settings you're doing to give it to your students. So I'm just going to call this demo two to be whatever. I'm going to put whatever directions here. And then where it says background is where you are going to pull up a um, something you want them to write on. You can also do a blank worksheet, but for this activity, I'm going to pull. It does not seem obvious that you're supposed to click there, but you are. So I am going to pull in a worksheet that I already have. Find that. You know when you guys are watching me, I can't find anything. <laughs> so in this case, it was a quiz where I know there's a certain answer for everything and it can auto-grade. You can also have parts that don't auto-grade. And then I'm just going to click Make My File. And the only parts of this I really messed with was putting the answer sheets in, the answer boxes. So you have all types of answers that you can do here. Okay, you can do short answer, you can do a drop down, you can do a long answer, true, false, matching, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just do a demo with a short answer. Okay, and I'm going to draw a box by clicking that letter T. And then I click on the question mark or double click to tell how many points it's worth. In this case, it's gonna be worth 16, but it only lets you go up to 10 for some reason. So you'll have to kind of play with that. And then I'm going to list the correct answer. I have not read this story and this novel in I don't know how many years, so I'm just making up random stuff. And I'm just gonna continue on through with the same type of box. I'm drawing where they could type, double clicking, changing the number of points. I know this one's Hair Woman. Okay, and I'm going to continue adding answers, and then I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so I've added all my text boxes, but you have lots of options here. For example, scoring. You can go back and say, I want to make everything worth 10 points, or I want to update all my scores that I've already put in there. Again, you can add different types of content as well. I'm not really going to take a tour of that. What I want to show you is, now that my worksheet is done, I'm going to click X to save it. That, again, does not seem obvious to me. And maybe there's, yeah. I'm just going to click the X. It worked last time. <laughs> okay, so now it's going to ask me who do you, to whom do you want to assign this and how. So I'm on the free trial. Pro integrates directly with Canvas, and you can explore that if you want to. I'm sure they have tutorials that walk you through. What I'm going to show you is what you can do with a free assignment if you need to. So I'm going to click Create an Assignment. It's going to ask me how to deliver. I'm just going to say teacher made because my embed is really for them to look at it. It's not going to grade it in Canvas. That is a paid feature. How will they sign in? I'm just going to say using a name. And then you have options for what they see when they turn in their work and how the score is displayed and all of that jazz. I'm going to leave the defaults just for the demo. 
And then I'm going to remove any pro features here. I'm just going to click save. So now it gives me a link. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. And on the next uh, part, I will show you how I connect this to Canvas. Okay, so once you have your, um, your link copy, my favorite way to turn it into an iframe, which is what you need to be able to embed it in Canvas, is to go to iframe-generator. Just going to paste the URL right here. But uh, an advanced hack you need to know is when I pasted my um, generated code just like this, the assignment was cut off really bad. So you can mess with the width and the height, but you want to keep them the same proportion. So I'm just basically going to double it. From 600, I'm going to go to 1200. And then from 400, I'm going to go to 800. And that will just make it a little bit bigger so that the, the controls are visible in Canvas. Now I'm going to generate. And I'm going to copy that code. And there are two things you can choose to do with it in Canvas. So I'm going to go into a module. One thing you could choose to do and it allows a little more room to scroll is you can create it as a page. So I'm gonna call this Teacher Made Demo 3. I think I've done several <laughs> in my practice. And I'm gonna go into that. And I'm gonna go into my embed uh, HTML editor down here. I'm gonna click the frame and I'm gonna paste that. I will add it to my student to do. But uh, what I what I do like about this, I'm going to go ahead and save and publish. Excuse me, add a date. Back to that. I'm going to be a teacher who gives Saturday work. <laughs> um, anyway, what I do like about this is it gives more room to scroll. Um, so I'm going to start the assignment, and I will see it pop up right here. And I'm able to type in this blank and do whatever I need to do. Oh, I've already submitted. Let me unsubmit this and I'll show you again. I'm going to put in a different name. Now when I start, it's not picking me up as the same student. You can, from your teacher made account, um, put a list of names in there so that people don't come in with random names, but I'm being random today. I'm just going to answer it. I have no idea the um, answers to these because I haven't read this in a long time. And then when they're ready to submit, they can highlight, they can do all the teacher-made tools, which again, I didn't go into any of those, but they're pretty obvious. That's a highlighter, that's a pencil. I'm going to go ahead and say submit. And it, again, it is submitting to teacher-made, so this is nothing to do with Canvas. All they did is see it in Canvas. What I like even better for the accountability piece is you can go, I'm going to go back to a module, and at this time I'm going to create an assignment. Create assignment. Teacher, I don't know if it's all smushed together or not. I need to look. Okay. I'm going to create an assignment this time. And what I would do with that assignment is I would embed my work here, just like I was going to there. They still need to see the assignment. But above that, I would write, excuse me, write the directions first. After you complete this assignment, type done to the text box and submit. Okay, then I'll give the, the worksheet down here. What I like about this, I'm going to turn on text box, is that rather than me running over to teacher main and just checking to see if people have done the work, if I tell them to type done and I see in my grade book that most people have typed done, then I am able to go over at one time and check all those in teacher made rather than again going every time. What I don't like about it is when they click to begin the assignment, I'm going to go into student view, and when they start the assignment, that text entry box takes up part of the page. So I like the assignment piece, but don't do it with something that's large. Uh, Clarice, so where I got that from? Maybe I just because I'm putting together a um, Rudolph puzzle. <laughs> So if they would need to scroll, the scroll bar is missing. So if it's something short, do it as an assignment, have them type done to let you know that they're ready for you to go check it. They still would answer this part via teacher made. So answer, you know, they would actually fill them out. They would submit. 
that has submitted to Teacher Made. See how it's submitting right there. But in Canvas, they're giving you that extra piece to say, hey, I've done it. And then you can go to Teacher Made and check more than one at a time. So hope that hopefully that helps. Thanks again to Gina for the suggestion and to some other teachers I've talked to this week who have also liked Teacher Made. If you like it, I'd like to hear how you're using it. If you decide to pay for the upgrade or use the free version, either way is coming. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them, but if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.